Welcome to DTV. This week we're going to be talking to uh, Geordie McKenzie in the lead up to his 50th AFL game. And Geordie, uh, welcome. Uh, congratulations, 50 games. Um, can you believe it's happening? Yeah, thanks, Bergo. Um, I suppose it's probably stuck up on me a little bit. And, um, everyone says it, but it does, does go pretty quick. Um, you know, being playing AFL and that type of thing, it um, doesn't seem long ago that yeah, I was playing my first game. So to uh, notch up 50s, yeah, um, you know, nice little milestone, I suppose, and um, yeah, hopefully a few more to come. Yeah. First game was uh, up in Canberra against the Swans in 2009. This week you'll be up in Queensland playing against the Lions at the Gabba. Um, can you sort of believe that journey has gone that quick since 2009? Yeah, not really. No, nah, it just sort of feels like yesterday. And yeah, to think, you know, it's nearly, nearly four years, that type of thing. It, um, it outflies. Um, and, you know, it's been a great journey. Um, it's so far, I suppose. It's, um, obviously, you probably haven't had as much success as we've been striving for. But, um, yeah, we're all working hard. And hopefully, you know, in the next 50 games or whatever, um, it's, uh, there's a lot more success. And, um, you know, looking forward to... Yeah, what the future holds. Yeah. Came to the club as a number one uh, pick in the rookie draft, and uh, now you've become you know, one of the noted sort of run with players in the midfield uh, in the competition. How do you just sort of uh, reflect on that time of being drafted as opposed to where you're at now? Yeah, um, it's, it was sort of a surprise to get picked up. You know, when I did, I probably didn't think at the time I'd um, you know done enough to get selected but um, yeah it was lucky enough that uh, Melbourne called me out and um, you know I'd been training for a couple of weeks in Melbourne trying to put my best foot forward so it was um, yeah, good to get the nod from Melbourne and or, had already made a few friends that type of thing so um, yeah built some good relationships and um, at the year and you know a challenge I look forward to sort of taking on too for you know whenever the club wants me to you know play that role. Yeah. A little bit of a who's who of who you've played on in, in terms of uh, elite midfielders in the competition. Who have you been really happy with in terms of scalps you've claimed and perhaps some of the, the jobs you've done this year? Um, I suppose this is always good going up against, um, you know, as I said, some of the good midfielders and they've yeah, been lucky enough to um, you know, run with Judd uh, at one stage and uh, Ryan Griffin, uh, Brennan Goddard, these type of players. So. Um, they've all been, you know, really challenging roles, and they're all different players in their own right too. So you've got to, I suppose, adapt to their sort of game style and try and restrict it to, the, you know, the best of your ability. So, um, you know, there's challenges each week in throwing up. But um, growing up, I was a West Coast supporter, and you know, look up at Chris Judd and that type of thing. So to be able to, you know, just play against him, let alone on him, um, is a, you know, sort of supposed to really pinch yourself. So, mm. do you feel in yourself that you've you've gone to the next level as a as an AFL player? Uh, I suppose I've probably taken a few steps forward, I reckon, uh, this year. Yeah, I um, unfortunately probably didn't um, make much progress over pre-season, that type of thing, fairly interrupted, <coughs> so didn't really fire a shot in pre-season, which is disappointing because I really want to sort of you know, build on the fitness and that type of thing, but I've probably been lucky I've been able to string a few games together and, and build on the fitness um, as the season's gone on, so that, that's been a positive, and um, you know, with getting some con continuity with my uh, training and playing, um, it sort of helped sort of go um, improve in a few areas in my game. So, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling I'm uh, improving, but, yeah, got a very long way to go, no yeah. doubt. Early in your career, after playing some games in Melbourne, uh, Adelaide were, was uh, a club that was showing some interest in you. Um, Neil Craig was back there, and he's now at Melbourne, of course. Have you sort of spoken to him about that period when the Crows were, were looking at you and yeah, a bit of a decision to make? And, uh, uh, not not really. Yeah, 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 not really. It was probably... Um, I didn't really um, look into it too much. I, I was um, Melbourne, you know, were good enough to give me an opportunity on the rookie list. Um, you know, as I said earlier, I probably didn't think I'd uh, done enough in junior footy and that type of thing to get selected. But um, um, to, for Melbourne to give me an opportunity on the rookie list and then um, you know stick by me, I was always keen to try and uh, repay repay their faith, and that's what I'm still trying to do. So. Um, I was always keen to stay with Melbourne and hopefully, you know, I'll stay with Melbourne for, for years to come. So I never really uh, spoke to Craig or anything yeah. about that, that type of thing. Yeah. 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 Well, Geordie, uh, congratulations. Uh, it's a nice little milestone along the way and uh, best wishes for your 50th game. Thanks, Berger. Cheers, yeah. mate.